So ever since his first post-credit appearance in The Avengers, many people have been wondering about Thanos, the Mad Titan, and exactly how big and bad is he going to be to the MCU? Now, not only that, of course, what is his story going to be, and how many changes will there be to it due to the fact that in the comics, it's something that might be a little bit harder to translate over into live action. Well, we finally have some details about the changes that are being made to Thanos from the man himself. Well, not Thanos, from Kevin Feige. So, like, the Thanos of the comic book movie industry. And here is what he had to say, and I quote, He's from a planet called Titan that's no longer inhabited because of things that he thought he could help prevent. And he was not allowed to do that. What he feared most happened. And the planet and everybody on it basically went extinct. He vowed not to let this happen again. He thinks he sees the universe going down the tube. He thinks he sees a life expanding outward unchecked. That will bring ruin, he believes, to the universe and to that life. Okay, so right off the bat, I'm going to say I really like these changes for a few obvious reasons. Um, It's making Thanos abandon the hole in love with death and everything, which I wasn't ever the biggest fan of. I wanted him to kind of be more of a sympathetic villain, which they recently did in the last couple of years. That's kind of what they did with the comics, retelling his origin and everything. Um, And it was really good, like Thanos Rising, and the most recent Thanos run is really doing a good job as well. And honestly, I really like him as a sort of a righteous villain, if that makes sense. Like, you understand where he's coming from, from his point of view here. And you can kind of sympathize with him, being like, look, his whole planet goes extinct and he's the only survivor and he thinks he can prevent the use of all these stones and he wants them because sort of like i get a dr doom vibe maybe he wants to restore how everything was and the way to do that is to get the infinity gauntlet and do this so he's kind of lost his mind and yes he's mad but he's coming at it from a very personal dark and deeply like affected emotional stance which to me that makes thanos just that much more frightening because he believes 100% he's right and when he says yeah look they're expanding outwards this will cause chaos and problems in the universe well he sort of has an argument to lean back on and go well it happened on my planet so it'll happen to them because they can't be controlled that's the makings of a good villain right there